Bibb County Commissioners vote in favor of decreasing penalties for possession of less than an ounce of marijuana. Abby Casares joins us live in the newsroom to explain how folks on both sides feel very passionately about the impact this could have on Bacon Bibb County. Yes, Frank and Lori, that ordinance, a last minute add to the agenda from sponsor Al Tillman. It was close, but Bibb County commissioners voted five to four in favor of the ordinance. City of Atlanta, South Fulton, Kingsland, Clarkston, multiple jurisdictions have gone forward with this ordinance and not one jurisdiction has provided any research or data that said they saw a spike in usage. Pot proponents Georgia like Stanley Atkins showing their support for an ordinance that would reduce penalties for possession of marijuana less than an ounce. The county previously fined people up to $1,000 or a year of jail time. Continue to send our young substance abuse patients into that type of system is not correct. And Virgil I, Watkins, along with Al Tillman, sponsored this ordinance that would decrease that penalty to $75. I just want to ask y'all, how much is a life worth? I hope it's not $75. I hope when a kid gets out of it that has been on drugs, that they hit someone or someone dies. That's Residents extreme, like Ken Smith spoke happen. strongly against happen. the ordinance, and former teacher Christina Molino says she doesn't want to send a message to kids that smoking pot is okay. Take that fine and all those fees and give more money to organizations like DARE to help kids to have the confidence to say no. This is where we need to focus on prevention, not legal, not making it easier to do, but making it harder, making it something they don't want to do. Commissioner so Valerie Wynn echoed Molino. Adopt. A vote of five to four, Commissioners Al Tillman, Virgil Watkins, Larry Schlesinger, Elaine Lucas, and Burt Bivens voted yes, while Valerie Wynn, Mallory Jones, Joe Allen, and Scotty Shepard voted no. <laughs> Supporters of the bill, happy it passed. Solicitor General Rebecca Grice wants to be clear, it is not decriminalization of possession of less than an ounce of marijuana. You can still be prosecuted under state law for possession. This is just a reduction of penalties if law enforcement sees fit. Back to you guys. Thank you, Abby. Sheriff David Davis, District Attorney David Cook, and Solicitor General Grice were all in support of the ordinance.